Ruth Obi had $1 trillion in his bank. Isaac Fayoshe urges Tinubu to shut down dominicinary accounts owned by Nigerians across the country in controversial video. And these have generated a lot of reactions from Nigerians. He said Peter B had $1 trillion in his bank account. Uh, Isaac Fayoshi urged Tinubu to shut down the missionary account. So we this we this bring down, you know, the dollar. Okay, with that change the price of things in Nigeria. And you are asking President Bola May Tinubu to shut down someone's account. What about you, the politicians? Who does not have a domiciliary account in Nigeria? All of them know what they do. The last time I checked, we were all there singing praises of Peter Obi. So what happened now? Anyway, Nigerians just they talk left, right, and center for this matter. Make we just hit the news. Make we know where to bring this matter and why you talk up. But before then, guys, if you're just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Isaac Fayose, the younger sibling of the former Ikiti State Governor Fayose, Ayo Fayose, has put forth a recommendation to President Tinubu urging the closure of domiciliary accounts held by Nigerians across various banks. His proposal aims to address the devaluation uh, of the Naira against the U.S. dollar in a widely circulated video, Isaac suggests that the president should issue a directive stipulating that any account exceeding 1,500 be converted to the Nigerian currency. In the video, Isaac uh, emphatically states, you have to be firm. Do not consider any one sentiment to bring down the, vol the volume of the Naira. Simply appear on television and announced that any domiciliary account holding more than $1,500 will be classified, okay, or substituted with Naira. He further emphasized the need to decisive action, assenting that even his own fronts and those of other former governors should be uh, untouched. Isaac advocates a policy where any individual holding dollars should have, should have them, you know, uh, and ushed and replaced with Naira, discouraging the, the storage of foreign currencies within the country. Isaac concludes his message by advising, uh, don't hold dollars share if you want to hold dollar. Do so in America. If you prefer pounds, keep them in London. Peter B's name has been made, has made some people mad without a remedy. <laughs> it will help us. I am sure they they haven't using Naira in America. Why can't there be hyperinflation when farmers are running away from the farm? Industries are shutting down. Please invite Peter B to provide solutions to the country's economic woofs. Moving the, moving the country from consumption to production is the only way. The cost of governance is too high, and the country appears to be a direction, directionless. Is Nigerian money? Is, is money? So talk to senators and ministers that, that have stolen our money, including your, your, your president. President Tinubu cannot even dare it because he has more than this one in hand. Okay, Ole, is that possible? Rubbish. Jealous go kill you on your and your brother, tip former governor of Ikiti. Even M. Miloko don't have one trillion dollars in his account. Mention another, not only Obi, have such amount of dollars. You people should not bother you know, commenting on this prodigal son's talk. I found that the name Peter B has become a nightmare to many corrupt Nigerians. They can't sleep or relax well uh, with that name, Obi. That is why they always call him 
Haba, Peter will be you too much. <laughs> Your president should also do that too. To his his own as well. See, eh? do you know why these people? They are even the real problem we are facing. All of them have bags of dollars in their bedrooms. You understand? Have you forgotten when they did a uh, primary election in their various uh, 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 what is it called party? Did you see where they share naira? Even the president share dollars. Yes, they were using dollars, bonds of dollars to bribe people to vote for them. So what are you talking about? These politicians, they have bags of dollars in their bedroom. So they are even happy all these things are happening. What is just going on right now is that the poor people, the poor Nigerians are the one is hitting. It not affect them at all. If the dollar go high, good for them. They have the dollar. And here we go. So anyhow it go, then go balance. So saying Peter will be, Peter will be is no longer in the government. So talk about those people. When did they talk about 30, 30 billion dollars? 150 million. 30, oh my God. Waiting, we go talk. Waiting, we not go talk for Niger. Well, Peter B came in the right time because he has really shaked the country. Not be like, I bet make a drop out for you. How now see waiting he talk?